Hi there, this is the Free Advice Man. I bet you love dolphins, whales, and porpoises, as well as manatees. Basically, sea mammals. Marine mammals that we know as cetaceans. So do I. But I was very, very upset to find out specific details of something I had generally known about, but I didn't know about in such fine details. According to the United States Navy's own estimates, the use of high-frequency underwater sound for testing in Hawaii, off the California and Atlantic coasts, and in the Gulf of Mexico, will deafen around 15,900 whales and dolphins and kill around 1,800 of them over the next five years. Well, that's just not right. Whales and dolphins depend on sound to navigate and live, as you know. And the Navy is required to include our comments from the public, from the general American public, on the environmental impact statement that they have. So your signature and comment can be helpful in this. I suggest you go to signon.org petition. And please consider helping stop this naval program and save the lives of these creatures. You know, if only the U.S. military would have a law that required it to teach ethics and include the idea that reincarnation of some kind, including from humans to animals, is possible, then maybe the world would be a much better place. Think about it. If people in the U.S. military were taught ethics and to consider the idea that we don't know what happens after death, for all we know we might be reincarnated not just in a human form, but we might be reincarnated as dolphins or whales or porpoises or manatees. If people thought about it that way, maybe they would treat their fellow humans and other mammals accordingly. So, like I say, defense is important, but having something worthy of defense is even more important. Thank you for listening.